Hey, it's Photo Guy here. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make contact sheets in Photoshop 2022. Now, contact sheets are a great way to show somebody all your shots from a photo shoot. Uh, they're a great way to print small copies of a number of images, maybe to make a mood board, or for students to put them in sketchbooks or in workbooks or in worksheets. I sometimes use contact sheets to print example images to show models and collaborators on a shoot. So we're gonna get straight in there and just come down and open up Photoshop 2022, which will just take a sec to open. And then we're gonna go up to the top, up to the file menu, and go down to automate and contact sheet two, and that'll pop us up this little dialog box. Now you've just got to work from the top down to the bottom. There's a couple of things in here you have to do every time you make a contact sheet. Other things will be set and be ready for you next time you do it. So working from the top, source images, where are the images you want to use? Today I'm going to do it from a folder. You can do it from different ways. You can pick particular files you want to use, but we're going to go with a folder and I'm going to choose that folder next thing down. Here it is on my desktop, all ready to go. Uh, and note it's got 35 items. That's really important to take note of because that's going to be important in a minute. So I'm going to open that folder and I'm going to decide whether to include subfolders. I don't need to because I don't have any subfolders in here um, and whether I want to group those images by folder if I do. Okay, so that's it. We've chosen where the images are coming from. Next thing is what they're going to go onto. Photoshop, don't forget, lets you choose whatever size and shape document you want. So you've got to think about how you need them. If you're going to print them, you want to think about the size of paper you're going to print onto. Okay, so if I'm going to print an A4, for example, I've got to think about the size of that. And A4 is 21 centimeters wide by 29.97 centimeters high. So I'm going to set this to be just a little bit smaller than that. I'm going to change this to um, change this to 19 centimeters wide. I'm going to change it to uh, 27 centimeters um, high. Okay. And then the other thing to do is to do your resolution and make sure you've got the right amount of uh, the right amount of pixels on your image so that when it prints out, it's in a good enough quality, but not too much. Now, actually, when I go to pixels per inch, which is how I like working, even though I do most other things in millimeters and centimeters, I can see that it's actually on 300. That's that's more than enough, actually. I'm going to go down to 180. The documents will be smaller, they'll be quicker and easier to print, but actually the quality of them will be fine for most purposes. So I'm going to go with that. I'm going to leave everything else okay. I'm going to flatten all layers, unless you want to move things around after you've done it, but that's that's only if you want to get into some other stuff afterwards. And then down here is deciding how you're going to place them. Now, that, when I said earlier, it's important to think about how many pictures you've got in your folder. I've got 35 images in my folder from this particular photo shoot. It's important to think about that because it's going to place them on in columns and rows. And you need to just be aware of how many pictures you've got and how many sheets it's going to make and how many pictures are going to be on each page and how big, therefore, these pictures are going to be. Now, if I've got 35 pictures, the simplest way for me to think about that is, well, OK, 36 would be three pages of 12. OK, so that would be three pages of 12 minus one picture for me. So I'm going to do, to make it 12, I'm going to do columns, I'm going to do three, I'm going to do rows, I'm going to do four, like that. OK, um, across first, uh, this is up to you really, whether you go up across first or down first. Use auto spacing. I've always found that useful. And I always click rotate for best fit. Now, some people don't like doing that because it means your landscapey shaped image images are going to be round the same way as your portrait shaped images. So if you know what I mean, I don't mind that because the other thing is if you if you untick that, what will happen is all your pictures will be upright but the landscape -y ones, landscape way around ones will be smaller than your vertical ones. Does that make sense? So I, I always tick rotate for best fit. Now down the bottom, the last thing you've got to do is decide whether you want to use the file name as caption. Now this is entirely up to you. If you're using this as a contact sheet and you want to go back to it later and identify which pictures that you liked and pull out those files and edit them, then I would use file name as caption. But I wouldn't have it as 12 point. I would have it as like 8 point. That'll be fine. On this occasion, I actually uh, don't really want file name as caption, so I'm going to leave that off. Now, this bit you'll have to change every time you do a contact sheet because you'll have to tell it where to get the images. This bit you'll have to change every time you do a contact sheet because you'll have to decide how to um, distribute them on a page to get the right amount of pages and the right size images. But this bit here, you can just leave really. That, that bit you don't have to worry about again once you've set it. And if you want to print in A4, these this is about the right settings for you. 
OK. So I'm going to click OK and just watch the magic happen now because it's all going to be automated. It's going to go into that folder. You can see it happening down here. It's just going to get going ding, 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 ding. It's going into that folder and it's laying the images out. And here you can see my contact sheets from a shoot I did a few days ago. Now that's really, really simple. If I wanted to print, you'd come down here into the file menu and go to print. And like I said before, that this should be just about OK, but I would recommend just in case I would click scale to fit media so you know it's going to fit on your page and you're not going to cut anything off. And if you want to print, that's fine. Uh, what, I, what, I, what you need to do is it's, remember it's not like a Word document. So we've actually made three separate images that you'll have to send to print three times, obviously. So it's not like a, a three-page document, it's three one-page documents, obviously, just like in Photoshop. So um, that's worth bearing in mind. Um, you only need to save these if you really want to. If you're printing them out, you don't need to save them. It just takes up space, just clogs up your computer, so you don't really need that. Uh, what else do I want to say? Well, I, I think that's about it, really. So if you found this video useful and you want to see other tutorials or tips, please, please, please like and subscribe, and um, I'll see you again really soon.